Brody them. That's weird. Camera picks up as flicker, but it's 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 not. I mean, you do get a bit of pulse width. Modulation. This one's not too. Uh, it's a bit, but the camera don't pick up too much. All right. I'm getting out of the ass for a little while. Get my daily exit hours. Just come on, been stuck in here. All day. Not leaving the house, it drives you nuts. I does me anyway, so. Let's go out on the road. And have a mooch about. If it's not too bad tonight, it's only gonna get better. Sweet. I decided to go to see What's been changed down here from when I had my accident four years ago this year? So my Peugeot 308 was wedged there. And as you can see, the giveaway sign's gone because another car had the same situation a couple of months ago. And we got smacked, and that one flattened the giveaway sign. So, yeah. And they've since relocated it over the other side. You can see. Yeah, you know, what they've done is temporary barricades. So that, 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 and a dummy camera. And uh, I've seen countless people come down here the opposite way. And um, yeah, it's just it's just ridiculous because that is all you can see when you're at the junction and when this is during the height of the summer that field there and that field there you cannot see a thing especially when the hedges are fully grown you can't see a thing so yeah it's bad really they should just block the whole thing off but instead they put a notice at the top of the road and then put these barricades in and two no entry signs and that's it that is it pretty uh pretty bad if you ask me i think a couple of months after i had the accident i saw a tanker go across this way and luckily it didn't hit anything but it wasn't far off going a little bit down the road a bit and there is one thing why that road is particularly dangerous is because our HGVs go down to and from uh, where is it that industrial um, estate over there as you can see where is he there he is yeah so they come all the way around there and yeah you know wouldn't want to get hit by a 44 ton lorry fuck that Glad I got hit by one ton of Vogue and not a 44 ton lorry fully loaded. Fuck that. Yeah, you think by the time they come around that corner they're doing about 45. Maybe a bit slow, I don't know. Um You think that you you'd be dead. You'd be honestly you'd be dead. If not, very lucky to get out of there alive. Anyway, enough doom and gloom. Lovely scenery. A bit unchanceful because this is uh, like a back road. Hardly anyone goes down it. Plus it's quiet at the minute, so absolutely lovely. Peaceful. Just what you need to get out of the house. I've got another about 35 minutes for you to go back in. There's one more place I'm gonna go. But uh, yeah, if you're wondering, we've these headlights, I think they're eBay or Amazon special, and they're not bad lights. And uh, yeah, there he is going into that industrial estate. I don't know if you saw over somewhere roughly about there, over in between them, or the other side of that tray line while that lorry was going or that see that green that building there 
there was a vehicle with yellowish headlights um, and it had been sat there since, I don't know, bloody hell since I got there, so I was looking at the high voltage stuff because um, I got a uh, transformer dropping 11 kV down to uh, I think it's 230 or 450 or 400 I can't remember off the top of my head what they drop it down to I think it's 11 kV for 400 and oh, I don't know, it don't quite mean it yeah, I was looking at that way and wondering where everything went and stuff and what it was and the size of the cable and that I was there for probably a good 10-15 minutes and that van was just sat there don't know what he was doing and uh, after I shot the video I decided to walk the opposite way which is like that way and it came past the opposite way and went really slow past me I was like yeah you can get fucked so one thing around here, you don't know who's watching, who's planning to get you. Especially now with all this crap going on. You know. Yeah, I'm assuming to tell them if they fucking try and mug me. <laughs> Better call the ambulance ready. Well, I'm not that violent, bloody hell. I only do it if I'm, if he's redeemed necessary or I have to fend myself. Being mugged, yeah, that's one way I'll fend myself. I'm not a violent person. Never have been, never will be. Alright, I better carry on riding before I run out of time. I would show you the uh, park, but uh, as you can see, it's shut. Damn it! <laughs> but, uh, where are people going to go walk their dogs now then? Well, you've got streets and that, I guess. Yeah, it says this. Oh, it is open, look. It's strange, isn't it? It says, due to circumstances surrounding COVID-19, coronavirus, use of playground equipment, it's prohibited until further notice. Oh, so you can still walk your dog around there then. So like then. Had a bit of a, bit of a hard mission. I've just done a few laps of the, Cold us out quite fast. I'm, uh, just catch my breath back in it. Let's oh, get rid of on the unburnt energy, hopefully. And that is that then. So you get on full, low, far flashing, slowish, ridiculously fast flash, and then off. Not bad. Not bad at all. This light output is really good actually because it's bloody pitch black. Ish. It's about 8 o'clock. Not bad. Hour and, hour and 8 minutes. Not like that. Okay. That'll do me. Right. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.